I remember not knowing how to speak. When I was in preschool, my entire family was so worried that no one would understand me. I spoke this Frankenstein monster tongue of Vietnamese and English. The gaps between two broken languages cannot make a full sentence. So every other Wednesday during kindergarten, I'd be pulled out of class to fix my speech. My words blurred like hummingbird wings, and my song came out as a whirlwind, too quick to comprehend, too fast to decipher. There are strands of line pouring out with different clicks and keys, a broken Morse code that twisted wicked confusion easy. But I learned how to smooth and comb the knots of my talk at the same time I was taught Chinese in elementary school. No one would expect chipped china plates lined along the soft of my gums, but I only mastered English. At family gatherings, uncles and aunts spoke slowly to me, their sentences just hanging in the air. While on the other hand, I would read big, important government letters to my parents. I made speeches. I learned how to do jump rope rhymes like 99 nuns in an Indiana nunnery or I wish to wash my Irish wristwatch, things my parents could never say. And in class, I studied Chinese, found out how to say the things I already knew how to say in English but forgot to label in Vietnamese. But there's some Chinese words that sound exactly like their English definition. For example, um, Coca-Cola, Cafe, Olagan, and there's some Vietnamese words that sound ugly and jagged as they dangle out of my mouth. They hang awkward and loose from my teeth. I speak elbows and frayed vocal cords as hard as I tried to adopt my native voice back and never came out as clean as the silky commercial talk that I heard on television every day. My mother is Chinese. My father is Vietnamese. I am American. She speaks Chinese. He dreams Vietnamese. I speak repaired tongue. I dream renovated dialect. I'm sorry, but can you speak a little bit slower? I'm sorry, but can you just repeat yourself? It's not that I don't want to talk to you. It's just because I can't. It's because I don't know how, and I'm still trying to tell you. I'm still holding on so tightly to the stitched words and patched up language of my childhood. Even in my perfect English, there are some things I just don't know how to say. Some theme is a Vietnamese word that does not exist in English. It means I'm done. It means I'm through with you. I'm at the end of my rope.